Welcome back guys. After exploring the function components, now let's explore class components in ReactJS. Let's take a look what exactly class component is. Class components are reusable blocks of code that extend react.component. Whenever we want to create a component as a class, it's important that we import or use the component class from the React library so that your class is able to extend or use the properties of this react.component class. The classes are also capable of using a render method to return the JSX for rendering the component's UI. So just like function components, class components are also capable of returning the JSX. The class components also provide a way to manage the state and lifecycle methods in React applications. So by the way, we are going to discuss about the state management, managing states, and the lifecycle methods further in the series. Now let's have a look how to implement the class components. Let's create a component with the name dashboard dot js and inside this we first of all need to import react and the component class we need to import the component class now in order to create the class we need to use class dashboard and we need to use extends keyword why we need extends keyword because this dashboard class needs to inherit all the properties and methods from the React component. Hence, it will start acting as a class. Now, inside this, the next step is that we need a render method. And this will render our JSX. So, what we need now is just a return statement. Let's say H1. We need one H1 tag or any HTML you can write here and let's say this is the dashboard okay now in order to export we need export default and we need to use dashboard now let's open app.js and we need to import this component by using import and dashboard since it is just a default export, so we don't have to put curly braces. And here we are required to render the component by using dashboard. Right. So let's check the result. So as you can see, we are able to render our class component. Now the point arises, what is the difference between the two? That is class component versus a function component. When we talk about the structure of a class component, these are just ESX classes that extend react.component. While function components are simple JavaScript functions that return JSX. When it comes to state management, class components use this.state and this.setState. While function components use the concept of hooks. Further, we do have built-in lifecycle methods in class component while we do not have lifecycle methods inside a function component but yes they can be managed the lifecycle methods can be managed via hooks a class component is less efficient while function components are more efficient because of react optimizations when we talk about class component they become complex and harder to maintain, while function components are easier to read and maintain. Class components are less preferred for new projects, and function components are preferred for new React projects. Now that's great. We are now aware about the differences between class component and function components. It's okay if you are not able to understand few concepts such as life cycle methods and state management 
because we will be discussing about these concepts further in the series. So, now we know what are the different kinds of components. Also, we are able to implement them. In the upcoming video, we will be learning about the underlying concept of JSX. Thank <laughs> you.